If you want to scale your automation agency fast, and I'm sure you do, you need to start selling AI sales agents. Yes, hello, who's this? Hi, this is Nicole from Brightstone Realty. Am I speaking with Lorraine Lyon? Yes, this is she. For the very simple reason that they make your clients the most money. Okay, so up to $3 million for a five-bedroom villa with a down payment of half a million. Is there a particular area or neighborhood you're hoping to find a property in? Arabian Ranches. In this video, I'll show you how to design an AI sales agent that can call 10 leads at a time and most importantly, handle objections like a pro. Now, how about we set up a quick 30-minute appointment for you with one of our expert real estate agents, Paul? Actually, I, I already have an agent and I'm probably just going to go with that agent. If you could just send me the listings, that'd be great. Well... That's not an issue. Some of our clients actually work with more than one agent. This is just a quick appointment to see if we have properties your current agent might not have shown you. Would you still be open to Thursday at 10 a.m. or perhaps another time? Uh, September 23rd at 9 a.m. for 30 minutes. Can you do that? You got it. I've scheduled your 30-minute appointment with Paul for September 23rd at 9 a.m. And I've sent the details to Megan at gmail.com. You'll discuss a five-bedroom villa in Arabian Ranches, up to $3 million, with a 500 k down payment as soon as possible, including parking, a pool, a gated community, and a landscaped garden. Please let us know if you have any questions before then. You will only need two things, a Google Calendar and a ConvoCore AI account. All right, to get started, let's head over to ConvoCore.ai. So to create a new agent, just hit new agent, name your agent, leave it as a blank template and hit create. Now for the source, we need to turn this on. Because this is an outbound call, the user or the lead is going to be the one saying something first before the AI responds. And now we're going to write our prompts. Here's mine. This right here is the opening of the call. It is very important for the AI to mention the specific name of each lead. You upload a bunch of leads and depending on the name of the lead, the AI is going to call each lead by their first name. I'm going to show you later how to upload a lead. It's pretty straightforward. So this is a confirmation that your AI is calling the right lead. There are two goals here to get information about what the buyers are looking for. After capturing all the buyer's needs, the AI needs to book a 30 minute appointment with an actual human real estate agent. Let's say that these are the pieces of information that your clients want to know about the leads. So the AI will then one by one ask these questions for the lead to answer and for the AI to record. So once all pieces of information are revealed, the AI will book the appointment. And because this is an outbound call, it is only natural for the AI to encounter objections. I have recorded the most common objections that outbound real estate agents usually encounter in a call like this. They say they're just browsing for now or they don't want to commit to anything yet. They're busy or they just want to browse but don't really want to book the appointment. I've created a rebuttal for that so the AI knows what to respond if there are objections along the way. If you want to try out this agent, I will link the JSON file below so you can Im import it to your own workspace and see how it works. You will see all the scripts I created for this agent. Now, I'm also going to add an extra layer of setting in the global settings. So click configure advanced settings, scroll down and type it in. I'm going to add this just for the AI to have a consistent tone in all of the calls. Hit publish. And there you go. We have our main prompt nailed down. And now because we need to create an appointment with a lead, we need to attach the Google Calendar of the real estate agent. So click on integration functions and we're going to connect the Google Calendar. Hit connect and you choose the Google Calendar that you want to connect. Hit continue. And there you go. A Google Calendar is connected. Let's go back to the agent. Hit agents. Click on the agent. Now we're back to our main prompts. Click on tools at the bottom and search for Google Calendar. There you go. As you can see, we have a bunch of other applications that we can connect to Airtable, Shopify, and Calendly. And of course, Google Calendar. You click on that 
And here there's a pop-up. You don't have to do anything aside from making sure that the email selected here is the email of the Google Calendar that you wanna attach. Here it's already good, hit save and close. And there you go, the Google Calendar is connected. Now it would not be complete without giving your agent a knowledge base. Click on knowledge tab and we're gonna upload a file. I already have a prepared knowledge base document in PDF format, so I will just upload that. Hit file, here it goes, and hit add files. Here you go, it's already uploaded and you will see that reflected here. Go ahead and save it. And now we have a set knowledge base. We need to upload our leads. So if you wanna import your leads in CSV format, you click on add lead group and you upload your spreadsheet. If you wanna input it, manually you click on magic leads import so you just paste that in and the system will understand what type of information you're entering you hit process one lead has been recognized and processed if we go back there and we refresh it you will see the lead select it assign to group you create a new lead group assign to selected group and there you go. You will see this reflected. Now let's head over to the newest feature, our agents campaign. As of the date of this filming, you're not gonna see that reflected here on the tabs. For now, if you don't see it, type in campaigns on the search bar. I have not yet created a campaign. To add a new one, hit add new campaign. And this is where the magic happens. We go ahead and name our campaign. For the lead group, let's choose the lead I added before. So the concurrent slots is the, the maximum number of concurrent calls you want the campaign to have. It's currently set to five, but you can set it to a maximum of 10. This is a very powerful feature because it saves you a lot of time. For example, you have a hundred leads and your client only has one or two human agents. For two human agents, that would probably take two to three days to get through all those 100 leads. This saves your clients a lot of waiting, which will set your clients apart from the competitors because they're able to go through a massive quantity of leads in just a short period of time. So now you're seeing these other fields here. We don't really need to fill these out in the setup because this is purely an outbound agent. We will need to fill out these if on top of the outbound agent, you also have an inbound agent where the customers are able to call. Go ahead and create campaign. We're gonna set one more setting and that is the phone number. Click on voice, phone numbers. Currently, because I already purchased a number, I am seeing a number here that I can assign immediately. But if you haven't, you will not see this option. You will only see these phone numbers to select from. I'm just gonna assign this number to my agent. And there you go. Before we test it out, let's head over to the voice library and set the voice for our agent. We are so thrilled to tell you that we have another voice provider, which is Google Live. If I had to compare the voices of the previous models from Cartesia, DeepGram, I would say that the most realistic as of the date of this filming is Gemini Live or Google Live. So these are the current voices. I prefer Zephyr and Core the most. So these are their voices. Your voice sounds clear and the pronunciation is good. Would you like me to analyze any specific aspects of your speech? Your voice sounds clear and the pronunciation is good. Would you like me to analyze any specific aspects of your speech? Let's choose Zephyr for now. Use voice and publish. So now let's go ahead and run the campaign. And if we set everything right, I should receive a call from this campaign. So let's click run campaign, restart campaign, and let's wait for the call. There we go. Hello? Hi, this is Nicole from Brightstone Realty. Am I speaking with Lorraine Lyons? Yes, you are. Great, Lorraine. You came across our ad for Brightstone's new homes in Dubai and shared your details. I'm just following up to learn what you're looking for. We have apartments, villas, and townhouses in different locations and price ranges. 
Do you have a moment to chat for two minutes? I don't know. I'm rather busy right now. I see. We can pick a time later today, or I can quickly note what you're looking for in under two minutes now. I promise I'll keep it short. Okay, go ahead. Fantastic. First, what type of property are you most interested in? I'm interested in an apartment, three bedrooms at least. Okay, a three-bedroom apartment. Got it. Do you already have a budget range in mind? I was thinking around eight hundred thousand dollars U.S. dollars. Around eight hundred thousand United States dollars. Perfect. Is there a particular area or neighborhood you're hoping to find a property in? Arabian ranches. Arabian ranches noted. When are you hoping to make a move? Are you looking right away or more in the next few months? As soon as possible, actually. If you have that, do you think you have that? Yes, we definitely have options in Arabian ranches that could fit your timeline. Lastly, are there any must-have features you're looking for, like parking a pool or a gated community? All of the above, and I would like it to have a landscaped garden. Perfect. So a landscaped garden, in addition to parking, a pool, and a gated community, is there anything else you'd like to add? That's all I can think about for now. Thank you so much, Lorraine, for sharing all that information to help you find the best properties that match your preferences. Our agent, Paul, would love to have a quick 30-minute chat with you. Would you be open to a call sometime this week? Um, I'm not sure. If you could just send me the listings, actually, that would be great. I don't think I need to set an appointment right now with a, the with a realtor. I can definitely send the details, but a quick call with Paul might actually save you time. He'll help narrow down listings to what really fits your needs and also point out options you might not have considered before. We find that that's generally the case with most buyers. Okay, then go ahead. Um, set me the appointment. Why don't we do uh, September 24th at 9 a.m.? Fantastic. So that's for September 24th at 9 a.m. Could you please confirm your email address so I can send you the calendar invite? Megan, M-E-G-A-N 24 at gmail.com. Perfect. Your appointment with Paul is confirmed for September 24th at 9 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. I sent the calendar invite to Megan24 at gmail.com with all the details we discussed. Thank you so much for your time, Lorraine, and we look forward to helping you find your new home. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. So as you can see, the Google Calendar was automatically filled. And if you click on the appointment, that was 9 to 9.30. And it included the summary of the call with all the information about the price range, the type of property, the location, the timeline, the preferred features, and the email of the lead. This is what the realtor is going to see when your sales agent starts booking appointment for them. And this is only one of the many examples and situations that you can make your clients money by creating an outbound sales agent. It could work in any industry. You just have to communicate with your client and you design an agent around that. Objections are expected in a sales call. So I created around five to six objections just to show you that the AI can handle rebuttals. So you have plenty of options, plenty of settings to make your agent sound how your clients want them to sound. You can even change the, the accent of your agent. For example, I want the agent to sound French, to have a, a French accent, but still speak English. You just go to voice, speech and chan, you look for the language. There you go. Currently it's multilingual. So you click on French, you hit publish, and let's go ahead and check that. Again, restart campaign, and there you go. Hello, who's this? Hi. Nicole from Brightstone Real. Realty, am I speaking with Lorraine Lyon? Yes, you are. Hi, you came across our ad for Brightstone's new homes in Dubai and shared your details. 
I'm just following up to learn what you're looking for. We have apartments, villas, and townhouses in different locations and price ranges. Do you have a moment to chat for two minutes? Yeah, so you can even add an accent to your agent. For example, your clients are based in, in France. There's a good reason to make your agent sound like the people that it is going to interact with. But what if you want the agent to speak a language, not only have the accent, but also speak the language? It's very simple. You just go to prompt and you just add it to global settings, preferably. So you can just add speak French throughout the call. And there you go. You hit publish. Very easy. Let's try that again. Let's run it, restart. Hello, who's this? Bonjour, c'est Nicole de Brightstone Realty. Est-ce que je parle bien à Lorraine Lyon? Oui. Bonjour, that's all I know. Bonjour Lorraine. Vous avez vu notre annonce pour les nouvelles propriétés de Brightstone à Dubaï et vous nous avez laissé vos coordonnées. Je vous contacte pour savoir ce que vous recherchez. Nous avons des appartements, des villas et des maisons de ville dans différents endroits et gammes de prix. Avez-vous un moment pour discuter pendant deux minutes? Ok. So, um, I actually also asked a French person and he said that it was quite good. The accent, the language. It's not just for North American customers or English speaking leads. You can pretty much assign a language to it depending on your client's preference. So go ahead and check Convocore AI. We are offering free credits so you can give it a try. You don't have to pay for anything. We already have existing tutorial videos showing you how to set agents up. Even a non-coder like me can already create an agent. All right, everyone, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.